Let's get this show on the road, everyone. Goodness gracious. Ah, oh, how's everyone doing? Nice Wednesday night. Gonna chase down some, uh, an hour late. I ain't an hour late. 7.39. My time. What time? What time for you? I'm right on time. If anything, I'm nine minutes late. <laughs> Guess I'm not on time. Anywho, we're going to Weeping Willows today. I've got some different stuff. I've got my spot rod, obviously. I've got two different carp rods, and we are going to be trying out some bottom rods too. People keep talking about how bottom rods are the are the way to go, so we're going to test it. Okay, a little bit of a bottom rod versus carp rod action. I'm still going to be making my carp rod mix and trying that, uh, which should help, I think. But. Um, if we get to the point where, you know, let's buy another one of those feeders. Um, get to a point where we find out that the other one's working really well, then by George, we'll just, uh, we'll just keep on trucking, won't we? In fact, I'm just gonna do this. It's really easy. We can leave them empty if we want to, or we can fill them with stuff now. So anyway, let's, uh, move to Weaving Willows. Do some, do some fishing. Some fishing. I almost to Congo. Right on, Micah. That's awesome. <clears throat> you need to know how to grind a blue crab. Don't we all? Don't we all? Um, I'm going to skip these first two days. I don't like fishing any day but sunny. You kind of need to bring different baits. And, uh, and the mixes you make will even work differently depending on the weather. So I always fish in the sunlight because that's when my best mix works that we got from Mr. Kappa. Um, gonna open a friends only room if you want to join in feel free Who's in the eye our friends down in Florida Hey 
Okay, let's change the time here. Alrighty, and do some fishing in the sunlight, I believe. Should be, anyway. Here we go! So, like I said, we got bottom rods, we got carp rods. Let's make our mix real quick. I have it all pre-made. The age cap mix. If you, uh, if you don't know how to make this, simply look up the video. Real easy. Best carp mix in the game, we called it. Um, but it is, it's some pretty good stuff. One thirty-eight there. Oh my goodness. I forgot to say that my stream time's at 138. I guess it would be 130 for you. It wouldn't 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 be 138. What's up, FK? Timothy's here. Hi. Adam Peacock. Hi. Algo David Evans. Best place to catch bass in the Everglades. You're asking me the best place to catch when I've got a bazillion different uh, videos fishing for bass in the Everglades. And you're asking me third stream in a row that's what i like to see ends with l mm. oh my gosh we got barking dogs now i'm not sure i can think of a name it's a name count as a word that was two we're gonna keep track of my baiting since i'm so bad about it dogs are just going crazy right now Finally caught the start of a stream. Hey, good deal, Amanda. Bat Seagull, hi. You're almost to Congo. Oh, we've got a ways to go. We got five more levels from six. Well, if, once we get 70, we're almost to 70. And then we got five more levels, which is a long ways. You know, that's, that's not easy peasy. So, yeah, we'll see. Fuel Tech Guy, how's it going? What should you grind? You'll afford two and one to get the weeping. Oh my god, Leon. The answer. The answer is the most repeated thing in all the world. How could you not know? I'll, I'll give you a tip. I'll give you a tip. It's um it's in California. In California. Stuck on this lake with the mission for the unique hybrid and grass carp. Ooh. Uh, yeah, is that the one for the uh, the Colossus, the carp Colossus? We, uh, I believe we have a video getting that bait. I think it's part of a, uh, like a whole list of different baits that we got during a stream. But if you look up um, monster fish bait or something like that, you should find it. Because I think we did it last year. What bait do you use for carp? The best bait in the game, BJC. Uh, like I said, I have a video that, that shows how to make it. So uh, just look look it up real quick. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy peasy. Can't join you today. Well, heck, Creeks of Colorado. What are you doing? Recently, I went to Blue County Tips on how to catch striped bass. No, you know, not really. Um, I think I caught them. I've caught some on crankbaits. Medium spoons, maybe. Um, you kind of just need to kind of wander around and cast around and see what you catch. I've got one spot where I've caught a unique striped bass, and it's if you're traveling out from the main building to out to the ocean, it was on the right side. Uh, but I can't remember which weather day it was. Yeah, I'm not sure how many times we've thrown, but I'm going to call this good. I'm going to call that good there. Let's get these carp rods out and go, let's get these bottom rods out. No H Kappa mix. We don't need you now. Not a fan of the free to play model. I do want a good fishing game though. Okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you then. You just come here to complain or something? We're all playing a free to play fishing game. <laughs> you know what you get? You know what you get when you uh, have uh, games that you buy outright? You get all the wild, the angler, and you get the fisherman, both of which need work, and one of which won't ever get work. So, it is what it is. Live with what we got. You know, I'm not just gonna sit around at home 
wishing things would be better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. So that's what we're doing. Finally tuned in early. Well, glad to see you, Mr. Mammoth. Where can I watch your alligator gar video? Ooh, Dave and Devin's not out yet. I do have some things I need to do before I put that out. And I am looking forward to getting it done, but just not, not ready yet. Let's get the 100 pound of carp today. Hey, you know, always a possibility spending uh, some time at Blue Crab, or uh, at Blue Crab, Weaving Willows. You guys got me talking about Blue Crab. Now I've got it on my mind. Best lure for Emerald Lake? I don't know, Cooper. Man, I just wish I had videos about that to help you out. I hear the purple narrow spoon's good, but I don't know. How's it going, Brandon? Doing doing quite well. How are you? Cooper says he loves the channel, Doak. Thank you, Cooper. All right, first fish on the carp rod. First fish on the carp rod. On the citrus pop-up boilies. Looks like a leather. Don't see any scales on him. The water is so clear here. It's crazy. I think he's just a trophy, though. I think he's just a trophy, though. And he is. 36-pounder. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Throw that down there. To know how much I need to spend to have a good experience. Chris P. Yo boy fishing. Thanks for this up. I I like I've told people before. Play Fishing Planet. If you want to spend money to make the game go by quicker, get premium on Black Friday, $30. You can spend the entire year fishing and completing the entire game, and it's only a $30 game at that point. Fishing Planet, I think, is the best overall fishing game out there. I think Russian Fishing is a better simulation, but uh, as far as an overall fishing game and, and the different experiences you can have playing, I think that, uh, that Fishing Planet wins out. BZ in chat, what's up, Juddy? Best lure for Emerald Lake? I've already answered your question. Come on, Coop. Don't know what to do. FK, you know, we just put a video out about level 30. What are you talking about? Just put a video. I, I swear, I come to live streams just to direct people to, to to videos. I feel like a librarian, but for videos instead of books. You got, you don't have to come to the live, like, I appreciate you all coming to the live stream to ask questions and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. But you can get very far just by going on the channel and hitting that little magnifying glass and typing in what you're wanting to see. And there's most likely an 80, 85, 90% chance that you're gonna see the video you need. But there's our first unique of the night. 54 pounder unique common carp. And it was on the Marichi Palm Fruit. How about that? Grab a Hino. This is a ghosty. Little ghosty ghosty. All right, all right, unicorns. Quicken it up. We're gonna see a lot of you tonight. We gotta, we gotta keep going on. You can make an album, I know. Probably could. You can make a song specifically about weaving willows and just use the beeping as a, uh, as the background music or something. Did you try the unbreakable line that I just tell you? I, I don't, I don't know what you mean by unbreakable line, Amagus. All the line is unbreakable until you run out of line, and then it breaks. Anthony23, thank you, thank you. Are you telling me that if I run out of this line, Amicus, the line will not break? Do you compete in tournaments? Not usually. I don't usually have enough time to do that stuff. I usually have so much stuff going on all at the same time that I usually don't try to make time for tournaments and that sort of thing. It doesn't really interest me either. See you later, Crispy. 
Bought the Blue Crab Island boat pack and my month just ran out and I'm bored. What should you do? Well, you shouldn't have bought a pack to begin with because you get bored after you're done with them. But there we go, another unique. Good deal, good deal. Glad to see it. Always nice to see uniques on the, on the page. Good deal, good deal. All right, top notch. Throw that guy in there and toss this back out. So we've got one unique on the bottom rod, one unique on the carp rod so far. Pretty even Steven. Good deal, good deal. See how long it takes before people get tired of me saying that. <laughs> hey, FK, I already answered your question. So stop answer it. Stop asking the same question. If you're not going to listen to the answer I give you, then there's no reason I should have to answer it again. Ugh. Aren't you at the Congo River? We are not, Cooper. We're only level 69. Another on the carp rod. It's another mirror. We just caught that trophy mirror. So it'll be interesting to see. This guy doesn't seem very big. It'll be interesting to see if we get another trophy mirror. Or if this dude is just a real small unique. I'll have to see. The max drag. We, we're using max drag. We're using Max Drag. I'm not using Max Drag on this rod specifically <laughs> because uh, I don't sure if they make the leader strong enough for that. I don't know. I know that there's something about it. Something about the leaders or something. <sighs> but I was looking at it before I made the uh, day one at, or uh, one day at Weeping Willows that came out yesterday. I was looking at them and I was like, oh, these rods are Max Drag, but um, there's something about them that doesn't doesn't do it. Feeling like I'm sitting on a, like a pond. You can rent or how they pronounce it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, we have a fish on one of our bottom rods, but this guy's putting up a bit of a fight, being a pain. Could go on the bridge. I've never uh, tried fighting him on the bridge before. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. I'm curious now. Can we just take it like this? We're gonna get him? Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Good deal, good deal! Yippee yippee! Dilly dilly! 64 pounder! Let's see if we can catch this before uh, it runs out. Grab it, Hino. This guy's putting up a bit of fight. I think it. Huh? Is it a leather? I think it might be a leather. Good deal, good deal. Why do you not play Call of the Wild anymore? Like Call of the Wild the Angler? Or what are you talking about, Jack? You like my setup? Oh, thank you, Fuel Tech guy. Nice, Kilo Knight says. Yeah, it's very nice. All right, all right. Get in here, get in here. There we go, 70 pounder this time. Good deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're gonna have to start cutting these guys short. We're gonna see so many unicorns tonight. It's gonna get old real quick. It's gonna get old real quick. Overpowered. Overpowered. What's my favorite breakfast? Oh, hmm. I don't know, man. That's difficult. I've got, I've got a few friends. I think a lot of them are like based on experiences. You know, like I love waking up in the morning while I'm camping and I like, uh, you know, get a, get out the uh, cast iron skillet and put some bacon in there and then get some eggs and, you know, put it together on a little English English muffin uh, with some <clears throat> some Munster cheese. Like, I love that. That's great for breakfast. Um, what else? What else is there? I love bacon and eggs, honestly. Good start for me. I can only eat one pancake. It's a curse. I don't know how people manage to eat more than one pancake. Here's a grassy. Okay, that's one of the ones we were missing. On the bottom rod, too. Little Rocky. Thank you, Little Rocky. Mine's 8.8. 8.8 kgs? Or uh, pounds? What do we got? Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! There we go! There we go! 
Is that Jacob? Jacob, thank you for the sub. And we got another unique grassy as we were doing that. What are we at now? What are we missing? We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got them all. Okay. Top notch. Well, time to move on. Unless this guy's gonna go off here. Otherwise, we need a we need a skedaddle. Let's go over here, throw out some spod mix, and throw these back out again. That was very quick. Quick five, everybody. I'm not sure what our record's at right now. Is it 26 in one day? Or is it more than that? If Beagle is here, he might remember. But I made him read a story of mine, so he's probably all tired now. <laughs> Thanks to your videos, I reignited fish for and I've gotten 34 to 50 in the last couple of weeks. Thanks so much for making digestible videos. Hey, well, right on, Juddy. That's awesome. Glad to hear that. This is a take for your videos to upload. Take for them to upload. Um, they don't take very long to upload at all. A couple minutes, maybe? Um, but I've got pretty pretty good internet here you know Kansas City was um, was the first city to get Google Fiber and because of that all the others sell you know the internet places and whatnot they all offered fiber internet within like the year so uh, so like this entire city is just fiber internet offerings left and right so we got a really good internet in Kansas City Next two uniques. Oh, good idea, Mr. Mammoth. So, but you silently gave me the tip to use 10 on. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that it's so strange that they do that as well, because you'd never use 10 odd hooks on carp in real life, you know? God, a one odd hook would be insane. But, um, yeah. Pretty wild. Why did you name your key character Hino? I think that's how you say. It. Yeah, we uh, we named him Hino because uh, because he didn't smile and he had uh, inhuman strength, so we knew he wasn't a real human. Um, and I joked that he was an alien from outer space. And one of the other subscribers, Megan, she said that her uh, her dad actually looked like him in the game. And I said, oh, well, what's his name? And she said, his name's Henry, but he goes by Bill. And I was like, oh, so what do you call him? Like, he, 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 he nil or something? And it was a joke, but then it literally just became his name. So we called him he nil for forever. How long does it take you to uh, level 25 and low on cash and game? Where should I fish at? I don't know. Where were we fishing at level 25? Where were we fishing? I literally put out series of video listed by level so that anyone who ever wonders where they should go at any level can just look at the list and click on the video that pertains to them. It's e I made it easy, you guys. I made it easy. New subscriber Amy says, we'll ride on. How much weight is red tail catfish you just catch? What are you talking about? I didn't just catch a red tail catfish. Is this the best fishing game in your opinion? Overall, I think, like as I was talking about earlier, um, I think if you're going for a real life simulation and you're okay with only fishing for European fish, Russian fishing probably has better, like a better real life simulation. Um, and I put out that comparison video if you've seen that it kind of goes through everything um and why it, it kind of you know is better than the other games but but overall as far as things you're able to do in this game i think i think fishing planet pulls ahead ragar whoa that's a cool like a viking name someone say google fiber google fiber what's up derek Love the videos. Actually got me back into fishing plan. I hadn't played since 2020. Sorry, I gotta throw this. Now I've played about a week and leveled up quite a bit. Really enjoying it. Hey, that's awesome, Mitchell. Well, that's the thing. And, and I love that about Fishing Planet because I don't know. Like, if I didn't think a game was that great and people were telling me that they were buying it left and right and stuff, like, 
I might feel a little bit guilty, you know, like, oh, these people are spending their money on this game and I don't even think it's that good. Um, but Fishing Planet, I truly enjoy and, uh, and it's a free game. So if people tell me that they're playing it and they love it and stuff like that, like, like, I don't feel bad about it whatsoever because it's a free game. You didn't spend any money on it. I'm not talking you into spending money on it. In fact, most of the time I'm talking you into not spending money on it. So, uh, I, it's just the way it goes, I guess. Ears perked up a little there. <laughs> nice fish on your wall. Thank you. My wife caught that. What's your inner life PB carp? Um, I think I'm going to have to check my fish brain. Check my fish brain here. If anyone's got fish brain, by the way, you can look me up. Old, old Bo Bear there. Old, old, old Bo Bear there. Um, but if we look through my personal bests here. We, we can see. We're going to focus. Focus camera. We got white crappie. We got alligator gar. Black buffalo. Oh, load in. Got a grass carp that's not loading in right now. But there we go. 16 pounds, 7 ounces on the common carp there. So that's what... That's what I've got. Camera's not showing it very well, but that's that's what it is. Okay, let's throw this out here. What's up, Bo? Cracked. What's going on? John Pranger, how's it going? Oh shoot, darn it all. Well, at least I didn't throw a method let out there or something. Something that would need to be reloaded. Let's catch another couple carp. Oh, no, no, no. Currently watching through the hurricane. Oh, no. How is the hurricane going? I've heard that it's pretty bad. What was it? If it was a category four or something like that. And, uh, and five is as bad as it gets or something. Anywho, I hope it's not, I hope it's not too bad. I am kind of curious to see what all gets affected and, uh, cause I, I, like I, I've expressed this a couple times, but I'd love to get a house down in Florida at some point. And, uh, but obviously, you know, in Kansas, you always hear about tornadoes and, you know, worry about tornadoes when you move here or something like that. But like, when I think about moving to Florida, the one thing I'm worried about is hurricanes. So I'm kind of curious what all gets affected. Unique common carp, ooh, 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 dance unicorns, dance. 2,000 XP, 4,400 dollarinis. YouTube Wolf Boy is in the game now too, good deal. We've got a mirror on this one, I believe. Looking, looking to make sure. Got him at 50 right now, I'll switch this, switch this. Let's see what this, this uh, looks like a small ghosty maybe? Get over here, ghosty. Yeah, a little 13 pound ghost carp there. Come on, Enel, grab it. <sighs> Go back to Star Place and fish there for your new PB if you haven't already. No, I don't think I have done that, I'll go. Normal hooks on your bottom routes for the carp? Uh, I am, I believe anyway. Uh, I think I've got a barbless 10 knot hook. If you're asking if it's barbless or not, and that's what I'm using on one of them. And then on the other one, I'm actually using a cap and hook. Um, actually, they might both be cap and hooks. Download a free to play fishing plant and in a few days you got the level 19. Right on, Lil Rocky. That's awesome. The Call of the Wild, the angler just come out. Uh, no, I mean, a few weeks ago, I guess. <clears throat> we playing with my power just went out of Oh no, Aaron, that's no fun. Power just went out. Darn. Yeah, that makes for an interesting night. We usually, uh, we'll bring in the old camping lantern and, uh, play board games. It's actually kind of fun, especially if it's not hot inside. If it's hot, then it can be miserable. 
but uh, if it's nice and cool, usually we'll open up the windows and play board games. But it doesn't happen too bad. I'm in West Tampa, not too bad over here, but uh, power outage right now, thankfully, and some rain. Ooh. Well, hopefully it stays not being too bad. How's your day, Hayden? Mine's pretty good. How about yours? Slowly bringing this dude in here. I'm like, and I, I'm looking at the chat, not even paying attention to the car, but didn't hear any uh, clicking for the beginning there. Well, another trophy leather. Okay. Alrighty. Right on, Blake. Hit it at category four, but it's losing power as of right now. Okay. All right. Do you use mono or braid? Um, honestly, whatever gives me like what I, what I need, I guess for like max drag or something like that. I don't really get too caught up on if it's mono or fluoro or braid. Um, I just use whatever seems to work for it to to get that to get closest to max drag as possible. Um, if I'm worried about them seeing it, you know, I'll try to use a fluorocarbon leader or something like that to uh, to help. We use to store our boat at is destroyed. Oh no, Aaron, that's crazy. Do you kiss your fish before you throw them back? No. No, I don't. I probably I've probably kissed a few bass in my day back when I was a teenager. <laughs> but uh, but no, not anymore anyway. I, I suppose if I caught a real... Of course, I didn't do that with the alligator gar. Of course, I was kind of afraid that it would bite me. But but yeah, if I caught a big old carp or something like that, I might I might, I might give it a kiss. Who knows? <laughs> the midst of the storm, safe to say I caught my PB Jack. Really? That's interesting. You've been away from the live stream for a while. It's been keeping you busy. Well, cool. Yeah, things have just been going on. I think things have slowed down a little bit. Everyone's uh, talking about that. Things have slowed down since uh, summer ended, but you know that's just that's just part of it. What level is Willows? Fifty. Level fifty that you need to be to come to Willows. This guy's pulling out a little bit of line. Streams three a.m. here. Hey, Jordy, get some sleep, man. Goodness gracious. Just got the hunter call of the wild. What DLC should you get? Um, I'd stick to maps at first. If if I mean if you're not. Honestly, at some point they might put out a sale that they kind of sell a bundle of stuff for uh, a cheaper price. But um, yeah, I, I think maps are a good way to go about it. Get 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 Verhanga and get uh, I don't know whatever looks fun to you. Ooh, Roger, how's it going? All the time where I live, longest been out is five days because of the wind. Oh my goodness, where whereabouts are you, Mr. Mammoth? game and I had finally gotten to level 80 right on Vita I'm a huge fan you helped me find an advance too much thing you know, without you would not be the level we are oh my goodness well you two are being too generous but I appreciate it that's that's why I do it that's that's how that's how I sleep at night knowing that someone out there is getting help the help they need to progress in fishing planet. If you want to, I'll go. Feel free. I always tell people when they start a YouTube channel, um, realize it's going to take up a lot of your time. A lot more than you think. Um, you know, there's plenty of things that you're going to either turn down you know, not going out with friends or something like that because you want to keep to a schedule or, you know, you're not going to keep a schedule and then uh, and then your channel is going to suffer because of it. But I would uh, I would say if you start a channel, realize that you're really not going to do too well until you put out. I don't know. Anywhere between 20 and anywhere between 20 and your first 50 videos or so. And if, if you're not learning from those and making the videos better as time goes on, then you're really messing up. You should be looking for opportunities to make things better, get a better microphone, um, make the quality of your recordings better, that sort of thing. 
Um, but you know that 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 moment that you get your first hundred subscribers feels pretty good. I remember that. That's pretty cool. Have you fished during a hurricane? Uh, in the middle of Kansas, no. We don't get many hurricanes here. In fact, we don't get any. Well, right on, Cooper. Yeah, I saw it. Cooper, you you know, you don't have to type things out twice, buddy. I see him. It just takes me a little bit to uh, read him. 71 pound leather carb there. boop a doop a doop boop 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 all right, top notch, top notch. We're getting, we're getting them. Hearing a lot of beeping, but we didn't, we fought that thing for such a long time and never, never had another fish take off. We, uh, we still have quite a few fish to catch. We've got two leathers, two mirrors now, right? We just caught a big mirror, didn't we? Or was that a leather? What were you? You were a leather, okay. We did catch another common carp. Okay, so we got two common carp. Okay, yeah, that's what I see. So we still need another mirror, another grass, and another ghost out of this spot. Slowing down, slowing down. Let's throw some more spot out there while we're waiting. Greetings, fan says, right on. Up in the Sierras, ooh, okay. Did you see the new guns, Hunter Call? I did, Devin, I did. 30 pounds, put up the heck of a battle, water throughout, lightning, thunder, coolest fight ever. Yeah, sounds awesome, David. That's a that's a great jack, too. I don't even know how much my jack, you know, the jacks we caught on the Florida trip weighed, but they surely weren't that big. Now, I, I would guess below 10 pounds. I was trying to figure out what I was doing with this rod. I was like, this isn't one of my carp rods, and then I was like, this is the spotter rod. Jeez, what am I doing? Been gone because I've been designing creatures. Ooh, very cool. I I I I like that. I like designing some creatures. In fact, when I was in uh, design school, that that was like seriously one of the things I wanted to do because uh, I was in school for industrial design, and Neville Page, very uh, very famous creature designer, was also he also went to school for industrial design. So uh, I thought I had a pretty good chance, but I just, I never went into it. I Usually you have to travel out to, you know, like California or something like that to uh, really have a chance in that sort of stuff. But it's really, uh, really competitive field. How to get XP at Blue Crab. How to get, I recommend catching the fish, Wanaka. Well, Oslo is, uh, is barking at something out there. This guy's got us out to 120. Looks like, a, I would hope, a mirror if he's fighting this much. You already have the Bloodhound DLC? Okay. Dalton Nims here. How's it going, Dalton? Doomtastic says love it. You have a great audience. A great audience. A great guidance. I don't... Well, I have a great audience, too. Great guidance. Yeah, well, thank you. Gotta get those numbers up. The creatures look scary. Ooh, you're going for some scary creatures, eh? All right, what are you, bud? Are you small me? Oh, 70 pounds. Boy, I tell you what, we are nailing the 70 pounders today, are we not? Goodness gracious. Yeah, okay. All right, see you, 4,000. 4,000 XP, 6,000. Then we're missing a ghost and a grassy so far. This was also on this second rod. We caught the last the leather on the second rod, too. Gotcha. From Finland. We'll ride on, dude. That's sweet. Finland. I knew some people from Finland. I don't know where they were from, though. So I couldn't I couldn't really tell you. But yeah, cool. That I'd love to go there at some point. Maybe during uh maybe during Christmas time or something. It's terrible because um, you know, I know a little bit, a very little, very little uh bit of Norwegian. Which carries over into Svensk and, um, uh, I can't think of what Danish is, but, um, but yeah, it doesn't carry over into, uh, Finnish very well. But hopefully, people from Finland know either Swedish or Danish or Norwegian, and then, then we can communicate a little bit. <laughs> but usually they know English too, so which, which is very helpful in my case. Going to Lake Mondurin tomorrow. It's where the world's largest bear Monday was caught. Ooh, very cool, sad goose. That's awesome. All right, and the second rod is off yet again, but it's a leather 
I believe, or a mirror, so that's not going to be one of the ones we're going for. I tell you what, those bottom rods have been doing jack squat here. They haven't caught a single thing. Let's have a pretty good little trophy leather. Goodness gracious. Alright, maybe it's time to put the spod mix. Oh, 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 oh. I was just about to pick that one up, and then... And then? And then? There was news. There was news on it. What is a barramundi? You know, honestly, I believe that a barramundi is a large freshwater uh, sea bass in Australia. I, I think it is, like, basically just a giant sea bass in Australia. Um, I could be wrong, though. I'd love... Someone look it up. How, how related are the sea bass and the barramundi? Because I'm pretty sure that's where their origin is. That or... That or uh, Sea bass's origin is the uh, bear money. I doubt that though. <laughs> Which it could not be fresh water either. I don't know. Could be brackish. Could like, you know, like a striped bass or something like that. I can go in between. Have a good night. See you later, Ethan. What to fish for when you get bored of sturgeon? More sturgeon, man. No, you honestly have access to most of the game at that point. Um, you don't have blue crab. You don't have anything above blue crab. But you have a lot. Um, everything else. So um, you can fish anything below it. Usually people will go fish for pike just to mix it up. Fish for some pike. Come back. Fish for some sturgeon. You know, back and forth. Just so that they kind of continue uh, going forward. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the worst plateaus in the game, is just uh, trying to catch the sturgeon and leveling up. So, just keep at it and try not to get bored, I guess. Best thing I can tell you. Just need a little tip. I don't know, Cooper. I, I Do I give a little tip? Or do you just go watch the video? I don't know. I don't know. I would recommend watching the beginner series as well. I feel like a lot of your questions would get answered if you just watched that. Roger's got to go to sleep. All right. See you later, Roger. Back, I like you as a YouTuber because no matter what, you listen to your chat, which is nice, and your videos are always nice. Please try to catch a ghost carp because I'm not seeing one. You're not seeing the ghost carp. It's actually one of the two that we haven't caught in this location yet. Not yet, anyway. We we're missing a grassy and a, and a ghosty, but we did catch one at the other spot. So I'm kind of interested to get another one. See how long it takes. Oh, this one's beeping away. Just put the mix in that fourth rod, so I'm kind of curious to see if it gets more bites now. Finland is no Danish or Swedish. Yeah, I know that, Doomtastic. Do you not... Do you, do, are you, do you think that I think that Finland is part of Norway or, or Sweden? I don't understand. I literally just explained how it's not, and yet you come back and comment that it's not. There must be a translation error or something. <laughs> that or you're just repeating what I said. Pike tournament at St. Croix, get a shout out. Why? I don't understand. I don't understand. What do we have here? This is interesting. Hopefully it's a grass carp. Can't really tell. Kinda. No, it looks like a common carp to be honest. What are you? I think it's a common carp. A little trophy common carp. Good deal. Right on, Doom. Discord sounds good, Sad Goose. Looking forward to it. Always love seeing people's fishing photos. Whatever you can, man. Whatever you can, Bwanica. Can you eat carp? Are they tasty? Yeah, they're one of the... Uh, God, they were one of the favorite fish to eat in Europe. Like, in, histor in history. They were so beloved in Europe for eating that they brought them to the U.S. to continue eating. They uh, they came to the U.S. and the one thing that European 
uh, people were, were thrown off by was that they didn't have access to carp. And so in the late 1800s, they, uh, they actually imported carp um, so that they could eat them. And then they, of course, multiplied and, uh, and people stopped eating them so much because the, uh, it wasn't considered, you know, a delicacy anymore. It's kind of, it kind of took the opposite road that lobster did, you know, and when they first came over to the U S uh, I don't, it wasn't even the U S then, but there were so many lobsters that it was like a trash food for, for poor people, you know, and now today, you know, lobsters, you know, for for the wealthy. Well, carp were the opposite. When they first came to the U.S., they were a delicacy for only the rich. And then as they multiplied and, and there were so many of them, then it kind of became a, a meal for, for poor people. Which is why, you know, my, not my, I wouldn't know, ancestors sounds weird, but like my great-grandparents and stuff like that, they all had stories of catching carp and canning carp and stuff because it was, um, plentiful food source that they could store and eat throughout the year. Kavita, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand what what a shout out is. I, I, I you know I've done this for for four years now and I still don't understand what a shout shouting out is. I yell sometimes, um, and I don't know why people want me to do that. But you know, it's just it's whatever it is. I guess whatever people are into these days. After you had soccer practice, hey, no big deal. Salmon is Alaska and is good for leveling up. What do you think? I, I don't think so. I think they're too far, uh, too far apart, I guess. This spot is not doing it for us. It's just really slow. Why is it so darn slow? I need to move on. I did find a spot uh, that I liked in the last video, and I think we'll give that a, a chance. It's really close. To, uh, to one of the pegs, which is awesome, because we don't have to toss out very far, um, especially the spod mix specifically. So it's going to be pretty cool to try. Alrighty. Get our, I'm going to get the carp rods out first this time, or the uh, carp stand out. Rod stand. Goodness gracious. Took me enough times. Love your videos. Thanks, Austin. Oh, thank you, Cooper. We're out of ground bait? Are we really? That's funny. How did we run out of ground bait? That was so quick. All right. Well, that stinks. Stinks of, of binks. Let's just go ahead and move. And we'll just start out here today. Ben, I'm doing quite well. How are you, Ben? Okay, we need to get that Dealy Wubber in here. Turning nine in two days? My goodness gracious. But anyway, Cooper, thank you. Appreciate it. No, obviously, it, I never want to pressure anyone into into giving their hard-earned dollarinis. So, but I appreciate the, the the gesture. That's always kind.
American Angling Zero, how's it going? Diamond, Red Deer, and Goose. Very cool, Devin. Spotting out. Spotting out. Caught salmon back to back quite a bit. Well, that's cool. Unique salmon. How much does it pay? You might just have to do a little bit of science on your part, eh? We've done we've done a lot of science regarding uh, the the sturgeon fishing location, so I guess if you just do the same science on your end and uh, and compare it, then we can see see what you get. A hub master, Derek. My God. <laughs> I wish I could make a different a different animation based off of uh, what people got, because then I would do the one where it's got like it shoots three ducks or whatever. That's a cooler one. I like that one better. But thank you so much, Derek. Goodness gracious! Didn't have to do that. Making me blush. <laughs> I appreciate it. Biggest Pike wins. Fuel tech guy, are you saying bye? Like good goodbye? If if that's the case, then bye. Will you ever fish in England in real life? Absolutely, Adam. In fact, we're going there in just a few weeks. Um the 20 something or other. Around the 20s. The last week of October. So I'm hoping to uh, get in there, hopefully, maybe catch a perch, maybe catch a chub. I don't know, some small fish. I'd be happy with just some small fish. Uh, there's actually a guy. I um, can't remember his name. Louie! Old Louie from the Discord. Um, he said that uh, we might try to might try to get together for the darn thing. That was a great throw there, Bo. Good job. So uh, that'd be pretty cool. He's got uh, He's got some barbel and some nice carp, too, so... I don't know, if I could get with old Louie, that'd be awesome. All right, how many more of these do we need? Like four? Let's do four more. Every beginner series and you're level 42, that's awesome. You actually saw and replied to my comment. Always calls you the goat. The goat. I don't know about that. Uh, but thank you, Kavita. Well, I'm back. Oh, Roberto's back. Good deal. Fishing plan value told me how to do when I had no money. Go to Lone Star, then go to Emerald, and so on. Thank you. Hey, right on, Gerard. Glad to hear it. How was my day, Cold Nest? It was pretty good. How's your day? Let's do one more. I'm not. I was just doing four, and I already lost track again. Okie dokie, let's throw some rods out. Let's throw some rods out. Do I, Timothy Desco? Yeah, it just depends on the stream. Depends on the stream. FK, you're back again. I'm gonna have to time you out, FK, I'm sorry. I have answered your question already. And you keep repeating the same question, even though I've already answered it. Well, very nice, YouTube Wolf Boy. Already got a bite. Already got a bite. Need to find all your zones? Yeah, get those zones. What's up, D? All right, already got one on here. Pulling out some line. Looks like a leather. That's a mirror. Okay. Starting it off with a mirror. And a unique mirror at that. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 
On fire, on fire. I think, as once again, I, I wish that, uh, I wish that, uh, uh, Beagle is here, because he'd probably remember. But I think we've got, our, our record was like 26 or something like that. Maybe even 30-something. In one day at Weeping Willows. So, I think we're actually low. I think we're behind on if we were going to do that, but still doing pretty good. In small streams here. Heck yeah, Adam. Well, that's what I'm hoping for, man. We're going to be in Leicestershire, and uh, and I'm just going to get a rod and some basic tackle, some maggots and, and some, some bread or something like that. Just go see what I can catch. You're always in St. Croix. Boy oh boy oh! Bing bang bing bingo bingo! Alright. Boy, this is. Uh, it's been the same rod. But I swear they pick a favorite rod and just go for it. Eight kilometer run. Very nice, Carson. That's awesome. How was it? <laughs> How's it going, cold face? Any tips on catching unique pike? You betcha, Kavita. In fact, we just put out uh, I just put out some videos about that. Our last uh, beginner series, and we uh, we've been fishing at uh, Saint Croix for a while now, and we caught a uh, this is a grassy caught a unique pike. Honestly, doing the same thing as we were with everything else, just seven odd hook, seven odd hook with some shiners, man, on the match rods. I've ever found. Well, thanks, D. Appreciate it. Okay, we got... Okay. Everyone needs to calm down. Here's a little guy. Great. Fantastic. Now we've got two. So this is the grassy. Not sure what's on this rod. This is a common, it looks like. Okay, good to know. Oh, you've got to be joking. I literally just put that down like five seconds. The game, now I'm playing it. And you do a video of your carp rod setups as well as recipes. Keep the amazing videos coming. Shane Gaming, well, glad to hear it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we actually have we have a video about the, the bait already. The, the, the mix and whatnot. Um, just look it up. I think I called it the best bait in the game or something like that. Best cart bait in the game. Something like that. What's your favorite DLC in Fishing Planet? I don't have one, Leon. Um, I actually put out a video not too long ago called No DLCs because I don't think you should buy DLCs in Fishing Planet. It kind of ruins the game. Any tips for beginners? The biggest tip I can give to beginners is to watch the beginner series. It'll answer so many questions. And series 2 is so much better than Series 1. We just haven't made it as far along. So, and it's free to play, so it's kind of slower. But, it's it's good stuff. Good stuff, all the same. Amount of money would you want to have at level 40? At level 40? God, I don't even know. You could honestly have like $500,000. If you've been playing the game right. Um, yeah, you should have a ton of money. At that point, I was just like, I was just like buying, a, like, a, I bought the best bass boat in the game. Just, I had so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. And then, when I turned level 50 and unlocked Weeping Willows, I ended up spending like $450,000 on carpet gear. And, uh, and I regretted spending so much money on random stuff before that. Because, uh, I, I was down to like... I don't even know, like 30 grand or something like that, or even less, probably 16 or something. And I was worried that I was going to mess up and have to go back to Lone Star and restart, basically. So, I don't know. You should have a lot of money by level 40, to be honest. Easy to catch with the yellow and black jerk bait? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll be honest, the, the muskies are not one of those things I went after very much. They just didn't pay very well. Um, we'd catch one every once in a while. Sometimes we'd get bored of going after pike and we'd throw something out to catch a muskie. 
but I never like specifically was like, all right, guys, we're going to go musky fishing today. Um, and I did put out one video where I think we did catch some musky and I kind of showed how to troll, uh, which is just a silly way of trolling in the game, but, but it works. Catch him. I think this guy's a common carp. He's putting up a bit of a fight. How are you? ECGT says. Doing quite well. How are you? Four pound bass good catch for someone who is new to bass in real fishing. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. It's a great start. I think I think anyone would be happy with uh with a bass that's close to five or bigger. Once you get to to the seven and seven plus, I think then you start you start hanging out with the big boys, but, but yeah. There we go, another unique common. Bingo bango. Dancing unicorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's enough. What are we missing? We're missing something. A ghosty? I think that's all we're missing. We're missing one ghosty. Let's catch our ghosty and move on to another spot. Mr. Ghosty, where are you? Missing you, Ghosty. Sounds good, talent. How do you got all three at the same time? How do we got all three at the same time? What are you, what are you talking there, Doom? Where are you fishing? We're fishing at Weeping Willows. The title of the stream says, Chasing Unique Carp at Weeping Willows. Fishing Planet. Kelly Joe, thanks for the sub. Never been in a live before, X Hunter says. Well, you know, glad you made it. It's always fun to see people and chat with people. It, uh, you know, when I see comments on the videos and stuff like that, you know, that's it's obviously very cool to see people uh, taking the time out of their day to watch the video and comment. But if I can chat with someone live, uh, you know, I can kind of get an idea of what kind of person they are. And then when I see their comments on the videos afterwards, then I. You know, I think, oh yeah, I know that guy from the live streams. We talked about X, you know. We talked about how he was in a hurricane the other night, which is what's going on for all of our Florida, Florida subscribers right now. You know, a little trophy leather here. Neither of which is a ghosty. Trophy mirror? Yeah, mirror. Good deal. Alright, YouTube Wolf Boys off to bed. Take care, man. Sounds good, Kilo. It's a unique musky on PS4. Very cool. Alright, I'm honestly losing interest in the darn ghosty. We'll give it. I don't know. Oh my god, that was way off. Give it uh, two more minutes, huh? Two more minutes of my time. I will spend catch a ghosty. And then we're moving on. Already got a fish on. Ghosty, what are you? Looks like a common. A little baby common. It's just a little baby. All right, all right. Come on, Ghosty. Do the beeping. Oh my god, you're killing me. Starting to get addicted to RF4. It's really fun, but I'm really time consuming. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, this is our guy. This might be our guy. What do we got? What do we got? Let's go, little Ghosty. Little Ghosty. Love him. I love him to death. Love him to death. He's so darn cute. All right, let's move on to another spot. Move on to another spot. Gotta get next to these rocks. Why did they put these rocks here? I'm so confused. Ah, oh, who cares? Let's go over here again. Catch some carp again. So on the first day we caught uh, eight. 
Got eight on the first day. We're at 13 now. Boy, we are really behind our record. But that's okay. Oh, ECGT's been playing RF4 lately, too. That's awesome. It's a fun game, is it not? And it, it really makes you work for it. And it makes you feel really good about everything you're able to do in it. Because uh, when you put in the, the hours to get that sort of stuff and you, you're finally catching you know, bigger fish, that's a good feeling, man. It's, it is really nice. I remember catching like... God, I can't even remember now. Uh, my first pike that weighed like <laughs> almost 5 pounds is 2.4 kg. So maybe it was 5 uh, and like my first trophy crucian carp oh my god it was a crucian carp but i was on top of the world i was like this is the best day of my life i got a trophy crucian carp in rf4 so it's pretty sweet this plus 20 kg pikes nice lee how's it going catch unique and we must to catch an actual normal size carp uh, when you have this bait, it, it certainly seems that way, does it not? 8kgs. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to be moving up to uh, Wisconsin this next year that has pike, so uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get into some larger pike like that. Those teeth is killing me. Those teeth is killing me. I do a little 40 with only 6k only got 6k I'd probably end up going back to Emerald Lake or something like that to make some monies need to get fisheries huh okay Adam I'm not sure I'll have enough time to uh, to really make use of uh, fisheries and I'm not gonna be able to travel all that much I'll be in Leicestershire for three days I think so I'm just gonna be fishing around that area there's a big river going through it I'm not sure what parts of it I can actually fish. Um, I was kind of reading up some things and some forums and stuff like that, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Yes, you said, where should you be fishing at level 33? And I said, we literally put out a video of fishing at level 30 just a, f just a few weeks ago. And it was pike fishing at St. Croix. And then you continued to ask the same question over and over again. And then I answered someone else's question about what they should do at what level. And I literally said that I had a series of videos that are listed by level and you can just go over there and see what character you're you know the, the what level you are and then go down each every single video and click on the one video that's closest to your level and it'll tell you what you should be doing I made it real simple real simple I have to say I have, you know this is uh what is this live stream 216 I've, I've had 216 live streams and I've had and I don't even know 180 of them 160 of them is just me answering the same questions over and over and over again so understand that when I make videos of stuff it's because people ask me the same questions over and over again and I'm tired of answering them and I'm sorry if I seem upset or mean during the live streams but if someone asked you the same question every single two days out of the week, every week of your entire life, <laughs> it seems, you would get frustrated answering the same questions too. We're out of ground bait again. God, I don't remember. Maybe I'm just really losing count on this. I don't remember ever running out of ground bait so much. Let's toss this back out. Got some got some uniques to catch. Seen fishing plan R4, which is better. ECGT. We uh, I literally put out a video the other day comparing that game and Call of the Wild the Angler. Uh, those two games and the Call of the Wild the Angler. So all three of the games. 
Um, if you want to hear my entire speech about everything, I'd recommend just watching that. Which is a common theme with most of my videos. If you ever have a question, just click on the magnifying glass on the channel and type it in. And a video will pop up. And then you won't have to go and ask your questions during a live stream just to be pointed to a video. Here we go. Another unique common. Yippity do, yippity kaye. Unique common 63. 2381 XP, nearly 5,000 bucks. That'll work for now. Eat all the cheese. I know, in Wisconsin, right? You're moving to Wisconsin. I am moving to Wisconsin, see you know You're uh, in early spring. Absolutely. Just stop asking. Stop repeating what you're saying. Oh my god. I don't... If you, if you type something... It doesn't go away. It stays in the chat. If I haven't read it, it's because I haven't reached it yet. You don't have to type the same thing multiple times. Otherwise, it just fills up the chat with the same thing over and over again. And I feel more insane than I already am. <laughs> Do you play in the competitions? No. No, fairly well-known thing. I don't do any competitions. If you don't see any videos or live streams of me doing competitions, I don't do them. I would definitely make a video about it, otherwise I wouldn't do them. Watching the stream while running on a treadmill, that's nice. I should do that. I should do, I should do a live stream while running on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Totally. Have you heard of EESS? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Thanks for asking. You should totally go watch this video. Is what I would be saying in between breaths. We got a ghosty on that one. We got a small fish on this one. Grab this real quick. Bring that ghosty back up. Grab it, he nail. Good golly. Oh my god, I put shift three. A stupid alien? That gosh. New car makes better than the existing ones found out that even 1% of the ground base changed with another. It changes the fish rate every time. Every time. Yeah, that's why I quit trying to mess with them. 55 pound unique ghost the Yep, 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 yeah, you can uh, you can drive yourself crazy trying to uh, figure out the ground bait. I know that there's got to be a better one to catch larger fish because they have better, as far as levels go, like you have, there's better bait that unlocks at a higher level. And just going off game design, you would think that because of that, it's got to be better bait to catch bigger fish. Otherwise, why would they have it unlock at a higher level? So there's got to be a better ground. There's got to be a better mix to catch larger fish. Um, I just haven't really spent the time to figure it out. You're in Appleton. Uh, we're gonna be in Milwaukee, so I'm not sure where at in Milwaukee, but we'll be somewhere in Milwaukee. Gotten to level 31 on three accounts because of it, and I've seen sent lots of people to it while playing. Keep up the great work. Well, thanks, Black Z. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's very helpful. And that was the whole reason I started a second series was because uh, the first series was literally a beginner series. It was me as a beginner going through the maps, going through the game, trying to figure it out. And then the second series was me replaying the game with all of my knowledge that I got from the first playthrough and uh, and just trying to actually make helpful videos for people. So that's uh, that's what I tried doing there. So I'm glad it's helpful, I guess. Adam's gotta go. Take care, Adam. Yeah, I realize it's a little bit ahead for you, eh? I normally miss that, Mazander. Well, glad you made it. Jeez, a lot of beefing going on. Golly. Here's a grassy, looks like. Good deal. 
slightly getting more insane. I know. You fishing Lake Michigan, I make a video about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we will at some point. I'd love to get out there and fish for some, for some salmon and, and, and whatnot. It'd be awesome. The jukebox will fix that. Yeah. <laughs> random servers or private um, I don't think it matters I don't think it matters I think it's all the same just depends on if you want to see other people fishing around you if you just want to fish on your own I guess boy this grassy is putting up a fight isn't he take us out to 120 good golly 130 140 this is the best Carp rod that you can get. I just I put this reel on to match it, but that's putting up a pretty good fight. I hate to say it, but it could pot potentially be personal best grassy. How crazy would that be? Beagle's here. How's it going, Beagle? Chains rest 23 times now. Yeah. Better or bigger bait to better fish. You'd think. The drone picks didn't work out as well as you wanted. Well, what the heck? Maybe this came from a crush account. Yeah, that would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> Go to the wolfer of this spring for the wall I run, then that would make a good video. That would be pretty cool. I'm not sure if we'll get there in time for it, but it would be pretty neat if I did. I'll be there for two years, though, so there's always a chance that I'll be able to do it. If I miss it one year, I'll try to make it the next year. Then I found you, so Tracer, good deal. Any tips to make RF4 easier? No, not really. I have a few videos of RF4, but I don't really have much. Um, obviously... Get your cafe orders, you know, understand what fish you should be fishing for, and go out there and fish for them. <sighs> it's all about the reels in that game. Obviously, line is important, but um, if you don't have a strong reel, good golly, you're just going to pull out, like, it's just going to pull out all the line. Oh, we finally got him. PB, PB, PB. Oh, only 62 pounds. Boy, you sure put up a good fight for 62. That's cool, though. 3,400 XP. I'll take it. My God, and both bottom rods are taking off. They're taking off like crazy. Oh, my goodness gracious. If this was a uh, unique grassy, that'd be something. He technically took off as we caught the other one. Ha, 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 ha. We got a double. We got a double, boys. Oh, this could be a unique mirror, too. Right, oh, right, oh, whoa, don't want two unicorns gone. So that's one of the rare opportunities where you're, uh, you're still holding or uh, reeling in one unique and then another one of the same type comes and grabs another rod. It's the only time you can catch two uniques out of the same body of water at Weeping Willows. <laughs> You still play RF4? You know what? Um, I played a little bit uh, when I made the comparison video. It's just, it is a fun game. I just, it takes so much time to do things. And um, when I'm, you know, obviously trying to schedule videos out for the weeks and stuff like that, really hard for me to spend a lot of time on something if, uh, if it means that I could be making videos of something else. So... I don't know. At some point, who knows? Maybe I'll be organized so much that I'll have videos planned and I'll be able to, you know, take some time and, and play some Russian fishing and try to progress in the game and make a video. But at the moment, I'm just not there yet. Biggest carp in real life? D, we just showed that off a while ago. I think it was because you asked about it. That was a 78 pound unique mirror, right on! Yeah, these guys get pretty big. This is one of the ones that get to 100 pounds, so... 
Still off by ways. 22 pounds. Goodness gracious. Still a nice size fish though. 7,300 bucks. That is a lot of stuff. Okay. But at the moment, uh, my record is 16 pounds, 7 ounce, I believe, common carp. It's not big. Still haven't caught one over 20. One of these days, I'll get one. Let's see this. You can sell it on, they have great bass carp and catfish fishing in Carlos. Someone caught a 45 pound carp. Very cool, Gerard. Yeah, who knows? Can certainly give it a try, eh? Field Tech Guy's back. How much longer till the stream ends? Uh, 33 minutes. I forgot to do the halftime show, too, so I think we might do that real quick. Might do that real quick, everybody. Welcome to the PC Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Arr, aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BC Hubbards? Well... Are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. And if you're feeling extra generous, become a Hub Lord for only 10 pieces of booty a month. But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a Hub Master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a height joke? Curse you, Bo! A vast ye matey! And now, a glimpse into the future. Bo's <laughs> BZ Hub Halloween Extravaganza. Featuring episodes of spooky games sure to give you a fright and seven all new monster fish missions in Fishing Planet sure to get every ghoul and goblin trembling all coming this 2022 Halloween season. Be there or be Bjorn food. Now back to your scheduled broadcast. I just want to say... My mic is off. I thought I had that. I must have clicked something else. Well, good deal. We got a unique leather there. Um, Vita's got to go to sleep, though. Can you fly fish for carp? Uh, yeah, you can. Lots of people fly fish for carp, actually. Um, obviously, they're omnivorous. They eat... Um, they eat... <laughs> I mean, different plants and stuff and berries and... And cotton and random stuff, but they'll eat bugs and worms and, and shells and stuff like that, too. So um, if they see what looks like a bug floating on top of the water, they'll come over and grab it. And people catch grass carp that way, too. So, so yeah, um, I think fly fishing for carp is actually catching on pretty well here in the U.S. And I think uh, carp are actually getting uh, more of a... Uh, more, they're getting more popular for a fish, a sport fish, I guess, through fly fishing than, uh, than, you know, angling for them 
like we would think classic carp angling European style or something like that. So, so yeah, carp fishing is definitely catching on in the fly fishing game. Have you caught a 100 kg shark? I'm not sure, honestly. We have caught a 209 one, so I guess, I guess so. Abuween is gonna be spooky. It's very true, very true. How do you remember all your viewers? Now that's something I was saying before, uh, before I unmuted myself. <laughs> um, Visual memorization, or do you call the most memorable comments, Xander asks. Uh, honestly, you know, I always say that I remember everyone, but we're at like, we're, we're nearing 40,000 people, and the, the chances of me remembering all 40,000 is pretty slim. So uh, if I do remember people, it's usually because I remember their picture, their little, uh, little icon. Uh... I just, my my memory works better remembering uh, pictures than like words and, and numbers. So, even if I don't recognize the name sometimes, I usually recognize the picture. You watch Monster Fishing with Jeremy Wade, Fuel Tech Guy. You, you know we have a series of river monsters, right? We have a series where we go out and follow along with river monsters and catch the fish. That would answer your question. It's on juggling fish. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, sometimes I do well and other times I don't do well, you know? Uh, and I think it's just the game messing with me. Because I'll literally be playing and, uh, and I'll juggle three rods at the same time and then other times I'll put a rod down for five seconds and the fish will be gone and I'll be like, what in the world happened? I put you down for five seconds. So, it's just crazy. You'd like to try fly fishing, Blake says? Yeah, fly fishing's great. And I always tell people, like, whenever they, whenever they say to me, oh, I can't go fishing, I get so bored just waiting there for something to happen. I always say, okay, you need to go fly fishing then because there's no way you can get bored. You're constantly doing something. You're constantly casting or something or watching it go down and waiting for it to get taken or you're retrieving it or something. You're just, you're always doing something. It's like the, the least boring fishing that you could do. So it's pretty cool. It's very hard. <laughs> yeah, Jake. You know, the thing is, the places where um, I have like the best chances of catching a carp, um, there's not a lot of room on the sides. And I can't get into the water or else I'll scare them away because there's no current. You know, there's just a very gentle stream. And if you disrupt the water, then the carp know something's going on. Um, so it's very difficult to cast because you have to cast into the creek just to be able to cast the other direction because you can't cast behind you. And you can't, you know, because of that, you can't really go forward. So you really, I mean, it just becomes... A real mess trying to get it out there um, especially if you need to cast far it's just a, it's just a lot of work I've tried it a couple times and I, I just I still haven't been uh, still haven't been successful this hurricane sucks <laughs> hurricane fish party oh well I'm glad you guys made it I was certainly worried for a number of you out in the Florida and uh, and obviously me thinking about you know Oh, eventually uh, having a having a place of my own down there. I was thinking, oh God, what uh, what areas is this storm going to affect? You know, I'll, I'll put that into my uh, my house buying decisions. But uh, yeah, I had to go on your channel and search for videos and my help. Hey, yeah, there you go. How to get better at fishing planet? Go to the magnifying glass and type in whatever you need. Little guy, he's just a little boy. All right, all right. We might have to skip another day now. I think we've got all that we can get here today. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, we still got, let's go ahead and move. That'll reset that. 
Tell you what, one thing I did want to do. Let's see if we can do it. Um, where should we try, though, is the question. Where should we try? Where should we try? Let's go. I think the last one I caught was actually in a deep spot over here. Let's see. Zoom in. Well, I guess we could always try that. Let's try it. Let's. I'm just gonna. Oh, we Zoe. Striker plays. Lever Vid's gonna have some tips for carp fishing. Man, this is it right now. This is it. What you're watching. It's it's all helpful. Take notes. Now, um, I mean, if you want a specific bait. You can look up the video for uh, the, the best bait in the game, is what I call it. But uh, yeah, it's it's a great video for uh, learning what you should do. What, what, uh, what bait you should use, and just kind of the overall setup. But there's not a whole lot to it, honestly. It's par it's fairly simple, fairly simple stuff. We're gonna throw some leeches on these bad boys real quick. See if we can nab us a uh, big old uh, Wells catfish. I'm gonna put a uh, four odd on one of these just to uh, give us a chance. I think the six odds might be too big. Five odd is what I was hoping to have, but I guess I didn't put that in my inventory. And I'm just aiming for a deep spot, so we're just gonna toss it onto this little marker here. Put that in the rod holder. You want me to leave? You you just do it. Do what you want, Joseph. Not bothering me. Everything you you can't compare American carp fishing with the European one. I suppose. I don't. I didn't think anyone was though. All right, ice fishing. Yeah, that's definitely one of the things I'd like like to try. Are there oceans you can fish in this game? No, not yet. They have confirmed that they're going to be adding ocean map though, so some sometime soon. When you fish fly fish for carp, you're side fishing for them, and it is difficult to get them to take the fly. Ooh. You know, honestly though, one of the European styles is uh, called zigrig. So it, it's it's essentially a fly, um, but it's attached to a. Uh, very specific uh, sinker system, basically. And then you put the fly, the zig, um, at a certain depth, or you just put it up on top of the water wherever you want it. Um, and it's pretty it's pretty interesting, the way you do it. But uh, that's that could possibly be a def decent way of getting, getting uh, a carp if you are interested in it. All right, we got our first taker of the night. Well, there's a little baby. It's just a little baby. He's so cute. I just want to tickle him. God, he's so small. Maybe that was the uh, the game telling us that we weren't doing something right. I knew we should have used five odds. What were we thinking? Storm will affect the place you're at. We gonna be all right in Jacksonville? That's good. Just by the carp, I did it, and I'm catching 100 pound carp. 100 pound carp. Are you really? I doubt it. Picks or it didn't happen. Picks or it didn't happen. Lip grippers. Is that your tip for carp? <laughs> Sharker fishing would know. He he knows the tips for for the carp fishing. How's the weather in Missouri? I, I don't know. I assume it's okay. What is your favorite place to fish in the game? Oh, I've got a different. I've got a couple different spots. I like blue crab. I like uh, weeping willows is a good one. 
Um, well, I haven't caught a unique Wells catfish out of here in a long time, though, so I was kind of curious if we'd be able to get one. But I'll give this another minute, and then, and then we'll go back to carp fishing. Do you recommend getting premium or not? It's the only thing I recommend spending money on this game. Yep. You are so doing it. Yeah, read that the first time, Jack. Gabe, do you remember you? I remember everyone. Carson, hi. Yo, what's up? IDK says. What's up? Last week, I caught a 10 pound carp on a fly rod, fought for like 20 minutes. Wow, very cool, Jack. Add an Australia map and the giant sawfish, am I right? I, I don't know. Not what I heard. I just heard the notion map. I don't know anything more than that. Two to three kg pike, it's food. Okay, sweet. It's Kansas City, Missouri. It is It is partly in Missouri, yeah. It's split down the state line. So there's Kansas City, Missouri, and there's Kansas City, Kansas. KCK and KC Mo. But I'm on the Kansas side. Gonna go to Blue Crab today? Nope, we're in weeping. All right, I'm giving up on the catfishing. I just thought I'd give it a shot. Thought I'd give it a shot to see if we could catch something. We did catch something, it was a little baby. It was just a little baby. All right, let's see. Those catfishing, it took him forever to get in. It took him forever to get in. Alrighty, let's throw some of this back in here. It says it's good, but it's not. It's a liar. All I caught was turtles! Turtles? What kind of turtles did you catch? I, you know, I don't know, T-Smart. I've noticed that too. I've noticed that too. I've I've been wondering if they would ever uh, change something, and I doubt that though. I'm gonna have to get way more popular for them to change something in their algorithm for that. Cooper, how's it going, Cooper? You're green now. You're not purple anymore. What happened? Is it worth it to do the challenges? You betcha. As long as you're not spending too much and you're like risking your. Uh, you know, you're risking how much money you have to the point where you're gonna go broke or something like that. I'd, I'd say absolutely try it. I do not, Joseph, no. Baby snappers, you're pretty sure? I gotcha. Adrian's gotta go, all right, see you later. Adrian! Bye, Adrian! That was a rocky. Reference. Five, I think that was. A fishing planet and lost it all. What were you thinking? What were you thinking, Blake? Hope the ocean map has tuna. It would be pretty cool. I hear they're the chicken of the sea. I would love to catch the chicken of the sea. It said it's a freaking big chicken. But it's that's that's cool. It's that thing you're doing right now actually work. It's the entire reason we're catching the fish we're catching. Can't figure out if it's a drama or an actual duck hunting show. It's a, it's a, it's a drama. It's a, what, what is the Kim Kardashian? What's the Kardashians? It's like a drama. What's it, what's it called though? Real life. Uh, 
Uh, it's got a name, the genre. I can't think what it is at the moment. It's when they just make they make uh, videos about what they do in real life. It's not though. It's all rehearsed. You know, it's all fake. It may be like what they're gonna do in real life, but they they like have like they they know what they're going to be saying. I guess is what I'm saying. Should go to Mosquito Lake or Winding River Lake. I don't know. It depends on what your equipment is, man. If you're wanting to do some spin fishing, I'd say definitely go. don't go to Mosquito Lake. You'd just be wasting your time there. Not cheating. Got a 78-pounder. Good deal. Oh, we got leeches on this still. We got leeches on this still. What were we thinking? Putting the big... Putting the big hooks. We're only catching big ones today, boys. That's it. Big ends are nothing. That's what I always say. It's 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 go big or go home. Which one do we have right now? That one. Fishing kid 12, how's it going? Caught in a shamrock leg. Ooh, very nice gauge. Carter just got here. Good deal. Reality TV. Thank you, Chuddy. Goodness gracious. I tell you what, sometimes I just try to think of things, but I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it is. I usually end up walking into my brother's room and going, Zach, I'm thinking of this. What is a word that means this? And usually he'll do that. He'll remember what it is. Good being at the live stream. See you next time. See you later, crack. Autobiography. Now, just nearly. Grind money and hunt to call the wild geeses. The geeses. Shoot the geeses. There's a unique common. Four more to go. Four more to go. If you want to see real duck hunting, look on YouTube. Just got back from deer and we saw four does with no bucks. We walked like five miles. My goodness. Having seats, like more than one seat, and you can't even use all the seats, only one of them. I know, right? I think that they would look strange if they didn't have more than one seat. It wouldn't look like a real bass boat. But, uh, but you're right, you can't use them, so it's kind of silly. Is right next to Lake Michigan. It, it, it is, yeah, it's true. It's like right on the coast. You go to Europe and carp fish anytime soon? Um, I'm not sure if I'll have time to carp fish, but I'm gonna be there for a whole week. I'm gonna have probably three days to go fishing, but I don't think I'll have time to go to a carp lake in those three days. I don't know. Depends on who I'm able to meet and what I'm able to do during that time. But I don't know if I'll be able to to uh, spend that much time doing that. Come on! Grab it! Oh my god, Hina, what are you doing, bud? Just sitting here. Hidden shift two as much as I can. Ever been fishing and hunting in Georgia? I have not, no. Do you like school in real life? I I'm not in school anymore. I've been out of school for quite a while. Um, but I did like school back in the day. It was fun. Seeing all your friends, learning learning some stuff, even if not all of it was that interesting. But you do what you have to do. Play some sports, throw some dodgeballs at people during during uh, gym class, that sort of thing. Man overboard! Thank you for the sub. That's a cool name. Seven eight one pound unique mirror mirror. I'm gonna have to say it. That just sounds way more fancy if we say it like that. This is a mirror, a carp. This is a unique mirror. 
does sound sounds a lot fancier when I say it like that, doesn't it? If I just say mirror car, it doesn't sound fancy. It just sounds weird. Mirror car. Got myself another mirror car. That sounds like mirror cat. Mirror car with a mirror cat. But if you say mirror, it sounds so much fancier. Come on, we gotta get behind it. Sus imposter, at least says. Ooh. Right at a noonie. Oh, yeah. I don't, I've lost count of how many we've caught today. Um, I'd say we're getting somewhat close to 20 now. Late to the stream, T says. Ah, well, you made it to the stream. That means you're not late. So, good deal. Well, that's good, at least. Sarah's an inflatable boat with rollers that you can buy for cheap. That would be a game changer, wouldn't it? Gonna get kids soon? Probably not. My wife's not even out of school yet. We're still... We're still just, we're still just moving along. We're both pretty busy people, though. Do they have trout in Kansas? They, uh, they stock, uh, trout in the, uh, in the lakes when it gets colder. When the, uh, water temperature drops down. Um, Kansas is one of those weird places where it has extreme, extreme weather of both. You know, it gets super hot, 100, 112 degrees in the summer, and then it gets to, you know... I don't even know minus 12 or whatever in the winter so it gets it, you get to a certain time of the year and then all of a sudden the the lakes are cold enough to have trout and then it gets warm enough and all the trout die so it, just, it is what it is I tried tr uh, trout fishing though last uh, last year we didn't have any luck we only went out like twice and after that we were like yeah I don't even care anymore Well, the streams keep up the work thanks to ye and you go to the bundles why would I go to the bundles so for videos have been helping me a lot on fishing but hey right on tell you what if you do ever visit I'd recommend hunting in Atlanta there's been oh yeah oh people are always surprised when the big bucks they see the big bucks in the urban areas but I mean if you're not allowed to hunt there then the bucks are just gonna get bigger we had a cemetery in my uh, hometown where I grew up that there was a, a ginormous buck that, that people would take pictures of and he would just uh, go out there with his does in the cemetery and eat grass and then he'd run off and, and he lived there for years I assume someone finally must have done some bow hunting in their backyard or something because he I'm not sure I'm not sure whatever happened to him. Do you know what RC planes? I mean, I know of them, but I, I don't do anything with them. I had to go do some housework. At least I'm back. Well, good deal, Mr. Mammoth. Glad you are. How are you, Maximus says? I'm doing quite well. How are you? And tomorrow in the hostel, she was in a bad car accident. Oh, that's a terrible bur burger place. Well, hopefully she's doing better. And I'm sure she'll uh, really appreciate seeing you catch up to you with levels hey good deal te your best since i don't even play that much <laughs> you realize that the only time i play fishing planet is during these live streams and uh and if i'm gonna make a video that's pretty much that's pretty much the only time i play it now it's a it's a strange thing when you start making youtube videos it's uh it's hard to enjoy playing games anymore which is strange because it's funny because uh, there was a time where you know I hated I hated editing I was like my worst thing I would I would record lots of videos and I would never edit them because I just hated editing and I'd get to the point where I'd finally just like pay an editor to help me edit videos because I hated editing so much and uh and i finally had an editor and we caught up on all my videos and um it was at that point that i realized um you know this was a year after that or so but like it was at that point where i realized that it wasn't so much the editing that was killing me it was uh it was coming up with a reason to make a video 
and I was having trouble coming up with a reason to make a video and because of that I wasn't playing any games and I would just sit there and do nothing or go out and go fishing or something just because I I was so bored of playing video games I could not think of a reason to play one if I wasn't going to make a video about it it was really it was really difficult for me but it is what it is and it's nice now that you know we have uh, events like the Halloween stuff because it gives me a reason to make videos Gives me a reason to uh, to play games that I wouldn't usually play with all the spooky games we're gonna have videos of for this Halloween season. So I'm I'm pretty excited. I I don't, but cool. Pretty neat, FK. more off time to grind levels hey well cool t man overboard how's it going got a 20 pound striper a few months ago Ooh, very nice blake i totally helped hey you know never turn down help eh you're already helping me man you're um you're my my reading guy <laughs> beagles beagles so lucky he's gonna read every spooky story i ever make I'm gonna send it to Beagle. <laughs> He's gonna be reading so much. He'll he'll never he never knew he'd be reading so much. And not about World War II tanks. Do y'all have a good fishing in Kansas? Absolutely. I think we're the second best catfish fishing state in the US behind North Carolina. Tennessee's catching up though, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm I think as far as the size of our catfish, I'm pretty sure we're uh Second in the United States. 20 pound striper a few months ago. I already read that, but cool. One done, that's right. Just joined the stream. Are you using any chum? No chum. No chum. We got our spod mix, of course. In fact, I haven't really been paying attention. We've only caught two two unique so far. What is the deal today, guys? We already put out eight eight uh eight whatever spods of these things. Guess we should uh do this. FK, where have you been, man? Either you or someone else already asked this earlier, and we already put the big fish stuff out. We live about 15 minutes away from North Carolina. Oh yeah. Leather. Texas has nice catfish too. Yeah, they might. I just don't see them in the records. course I'll be honest I, after seeing Kansas I didn't really pay attention to where other places were because why why would I <laughs> if we're already if we're already doing so good why would I be interested in going somewhere that's worse stuff into rocks and everything like this stuff into rocks why would I want to turn my stuff into rocks what are you talking about catches Giants I don't think I know who that is. Boy, this place is just a real, a real buzzkill. Let's catch one more fish. Come on now. Gotta get one more fish. Good catfish. Guys, 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 guys. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All you need to do is look at the record books 
It's just like Fishing Planet, eh? You know? You're looking at fish, right? Looking at fish, you go, oh, let's see here. Flathead catfish. Oh, cool, that's neat. Where where was it? Huh? Where'd you catch it? Oh, Quanchkin Lake. It's at Quanchkin Lake. Best catfish in the game was caught at Quanchkin Lake. Doesn't matter what other places have good catfish. We already know where the biggest one was caught. Right there, Quanchkin Lake. So now you know. Go to Quanchkin Lake. Doesn't matter if you heard Illinois is good, or if Tennessee is good, or if Texas is good. You know, look at the record books, see where the big fish have been caught, and that's where the best is. If it's not the best, why settle? Why settle for the for something worse? Go for the best. That's that's a that's a bow tip. Bow tip of life. B T of I. L L. <laughs> life starts with an L. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you can find your dog? When you can find your dog? No, I like being able to find my dog. Oh, can't. I mean, yeah, that is that is fairly annoying. Though it's rare. Usually, we are always know where they are. All right, we're ending it on a thirty-four. Or the bigger one is still out there someplace. <gasps> Ooh, that's right. That's why I keep fishing the small uh, creek in my backyard, because I'm sure the biggest catfish is there somewhere. Anywho, everyone, uh, you know, there we go. Nice little Wednesday stream. Glad you all could be here. Next week, obviously, we're starting off the Halloween stuff, which I'm super excited for. Hopefully, you all are as well. But I'm glad all of you could join me here at Weeping Willow. It's always a fun place to catch some good fish everybody but till the next video everyone take care we'll see you next time and as always big thanks to woodworking beagle for being our mod tonight <laughs> all right see you everyone take care take take care now we're one planet one family game on